Hey, magandang buhay. So, ako si Sir Ben. Narito ako upang i-discuss sa iyo paano nga ba uh, gawin ang mga operations that involves rational expressions to be specific fractions muna. Okay? So, ready ka na? Great. So, in dito sa video is some sort of a review since na-discuss na yung operations of fractions nung tayo ay grade. I think grade 3, nag-start na yan. Tapos grade 4, grade 5, and then grade 6. Okay? So, parang review lang naman itong uh, video lesson na to. Okay? So, let's start. Start natin to sa addition of addition and subtraction of fractions. So, kapag ka similar fractions ang ina-add or sinasubtract, napakadali. When we say similar fractions, pareho yung denominator, magkaiba lang sila sa numerator. So, kapag ka ganun, just simply copy the denominator and then operate natin yung nasa numerator. In our case, since similar ito, we will just simply add our numerator. So, we will get 6 over 9 and do not forget to um, express your final answer in lowest term. So, in that case, that would be 2 thirds. Okay? Next example, we have 5 over 6 minus 2 fifths. So again, since dissimilar naman ito, we need to identify the LCD. In our case, the LCD is 30. So ang goal natin dito, kailangan yung denominator maging 30. So ganito yung gagawin natin. Yung 5 over 6, para maging 30, yung kanyang denominator, imumultiply ko yung denominator by 5. Siyempre, same din siya dun sa ating numerator. Kailangan din natin imultiply yung numerator by 5. Again, take note of this one. This, ito yung property, yung identity property. No? Now, saan we are multiplying um, one. Ibig sabihin, hindi nag-iiba yung value natin. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, ang um, minumultiply lang natin sa 5 over 6 is 1. So, yun naman sa 2 fifths. Again, kailangan maging 30 ito. So, we need to multiply the fraction by 6 over 6. So, simplify natin ito. So, ito magiging 25 over 30. Ito naman magiging 12 over 30. So, similar na sila, operate na natin yung numerator. So, we will get 13 over 30. Next example tayo, we have, okay, mixed number plus a fraction. So, that is 8 and 1 fourth plus 6 over 7. So, dito, kunin ko muna yung LCD. So, LCD na is 28. Focus ko lang muna sa mga fractions. Yung 1 fourth sa 6 over 7. Yung whole number, itapi ko na muna. Okay? So, yung kagaya ng ginawa ko sa example number 2, yung goal ko is kailangan yung denominator maging 28. So, yung 1 fourth, para maging 20 yung denominator niya, imumultiply ko yung 1 fourth mismo sa 7 over 7. Yung 6 over 7 naman, imumultiply ko yan sa 4 over 4. So, simplify natin ito. This will be 7 over 28. Ito naman magiging 24 over 28. Um, similar fraction na sila. So, we will get 7 plus 24. That is 31. So, improper fraction siya. Gawin natin mixed number. So, that is 1 and 3 over 28. So, since yung 8 na whole number kanyang tinabi ko, ibalik na natin siya ngayon. So, again, yung 8 and 1 fourth plus 6 over 7, which is yung original natin na expression, is equivalent to 8 plus 1 and 3 over 28. Yung 3 over, 1 and 3 over 28, ito yung 1 fourth plus 6 over 7. Simplify natin ito, this will be 9 and 3 over 28. Next example tayo. So, still, um, nasa addition and subtraction pa rin tayo ng fraction. So, we have... 3 and 1 over 12 minus 2 thirds. So, una, kunin natin yung LCD and that is 12. So, yung 3 and 1 over 12, since yung denominator niya is yung LCD pa rin, wala na tayo papalitan dyan. As it is pa rin yan. Yung 2 thirds, yan yung, gagaw, yan yung iibahin natin. So, yung 2 thirds, para maging 12 yung kanyang denominator, imumultiply ko yung 2 thirds by 4 over 4. Ayan siya. So, ito ngayon magiging 8 over 12. Ngayon, kung titignan natin, yung 1 over 12 minus 8 over 12, hindi siya pwedeng isubtract. No? So, ang gagawin natin dito is ganito, ha? Um, follow my instruction. Kung makikita nyo, eto, yung 3 and 1 over 12 can be expressed as 3 plus 1 over 12. Ngayon, gawin natin silang lahat similar. Paano? Yung whole number na 3, gawin natin yung denominator niya as 12. So, bali magiging 36 over 12 siya. Tignan nyo, ha? Kung isisimplify nyo yung 36 over 12, that is 3. So, ano bang ginawa? Di ba yung 3, yung denominator niya is 1? So, kumbaga, yung, para yung denominator niya maging 12, I need to multiply yung 3 over 1 by 12 over 12. Kaya siya naging 36 over 12. So, dito, similar na siya. What we need to do is to, um, tawag dito, M dash. So, diretso lang tayo dito since addition and subtraction lang ang meron dito. So, 36 plus 1, that is 37. 37 minus 8, that is um, 29. So, our answer is 29 over 12 or in tawag dito in mixed number so this will be 2 and 5 over 12 now proceed naman tayo sa multiplication and division of fraction 
So kapag ka nagmo-multiply tayo ng fraction, uh, madali lang siya bakit we just simply multiply the numerators and we just simply multiply the denominators. After that, simplify lang natin yung sagot natin. In our case, um, this will be 10 over 18. Lowest term natin yan, that will be 5 over 9. Napakadali, di ba? Next, what if we have 7 times 4 fifths? Again, yung 7 dyan, um, yung denominator niya is 1, di ba? So in that case, that would be 7 over 1 times 4 over 5. So again, kagaya lang ng ginawa natin sa taas. So multiply lang natin yung numerators, saka multiply lang natin yung mga denominators. So we will get 28 over 5. Express natin into mixed number. So that would be 5 and 3 fifths. Next example natin, we have 8 over 11 divided by 10. Hmm, paano to? So yung 10, gawin natin fraction um, by um, putting a denominator which is 1. So again, lahat ng whole numbers ha, yung denominator nila is 1. Okay? Ngayon, when we divide fractions, ang ginagawa natin dito is yung, yung, yung divisor, i-reciprocate natin and then proceed sa multiplication. And then, para, lang, para na lang tayo nag-multiply ng fractions yan. So this will be 8 over 110 or 4 over 55. Okay, so 8 over 110 or 4 over 55. So, on the lowest term. So, again, 8 times 1 is 8. 11 times 10 is 110. Kaya 8 over 110 yun dito. Okay, lowest term. That is 4 over 55. Next one. So, what if, if we have 5 and 3 fourths divided by 6 and 2 thirds? Okay, so, ang gawin mo lang dito is i-express mo lang yung mga mixed numbers into improper fraction. Okay, so, paano ulit? Yung eto, gagawin lang natin dito is yung numerator ay yung denominator, i-multiply natin siya sa whole number and then yung product, i-add natin sa numerator. In this case, this will be 4 times 5, which is 20 plus 3, that is 23 over 4. Ito naman, this will be 3 times 6, 18, 18 plus 2, that is 20. So, this will become 20 over 3. Okay? So, since naka yung proper fraction na siya, kagaya na lang ng ginawa natin sa example bago ito. Yung divisor, which is yung 20 over 3, Reciprocate natin. So, this will be 23 over 4 times 3 over 20. So, multiply lang natin yan. 23 times 3, that is 69. 4 times 20, that is 80. Pwede pa ba natin i-lowest term yan? Hindi na. So, that will be our final answer. Okay? So, napakadali ng operations that involves rational expressions focusing on fraction. Napakadali, napakasimple lang yan. Okay? So, practice and practice. And with that, Maraming salamat sa pakikinig and magandang buhay.